the Chemistry 121 Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos. I'm Joey Smokey, and in this episode we're going to be taking stoichiometry one step further and including molarity in with it. Molarity. Molarity. Yeah. Yes. Okay. By the way, I'm Kevin Martin. And we'll be, we'll be presenting this episode. So you said there is a twist to the stoichiometry stuff now. Yes, you remember the last episode we did, we were basically taking grams of stuff and going to grams of other stuff. Yeah. Using stoichiometry, you know, multiple ratios. Yeah, of course. Yes. But then, you did the episode concerning molarity, mm -hmm. and, of course, stoichiometry and molarity can come together, and you can, can basically combine the two. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I'm interested in seeing this. Right. So, you remember, Kevin, what kind of reaction is this? Acid-base. That's right. You've got your acid in your base, makes a salt and water. Okay? Also, double displacement. Right. And molarity is the concentration of stuff. Yes. Right? I remember that. Mm -hmm. So if we have barium hydroxide and we have a specific concentration of it, we'll say 5 molar, mm -hmm. we'll say that we take 20 milliliters of 5 molar barium hydroxide as our reactant. Okay. And we're curious to know how many grams of water we're going to get as a product. Yeah. All right. Sound doable? Well, we can try. Okay, so obviously the first thing we do is write out what we're given. Yeah. But we don't really start with any one thing here. That's right. So we got to convert this junk here that we start with into something that's usable. Okay. Well, if I recall, molarity is equal to moles over liters. Right. right. Exactly. So we can start by saying we have five moles of barium hydroxide. Okay. And we can say that's going to be over one liter. All right. Okay? Because that's what molarity is. It's always over one liter. Don't forget that. Okay. Okay. So now that we're here, what can we do? Well, let's see. Okay, so if I remember, this is equal to moles over liters. Mm -hmm. If I get moles, I'll just... Okay. So, all right, just let me enter in what I think this is. Okay. So, since moles equal molarity times liters, we have molarity here, so we need liters. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's in milliliters. Yeah. That's not a problem. Yep. 0 0.020 zero liters of solution. Yep. Over one. Right. Okay. Now, I always write out my units, that way I see you know exactly what's going on, but this is fine. We can see that the liters cancel out. Yeah. So, okay. So now that we're there, basically we know, yeah, liters are gone. That's all. That's all good. Mm -hmm. Now we're left with moles. All right. Okay. So this is kind of like going back to general stoichiometry. We have, yeah. we have moles of one thing. So now we want to go to moles of other using mole ratio. Right. Exactly. So we got moles of barium hydroxide here. We don't want that. Okay. So we put it on the bottom, right? All right. Yep. So we're gonna put moles of barium hydroxide here, mm -hmm. and then we put moles of what on the top? Well, we're looking for grams of water, so I am listing moles of water. Exactly. Remember, write all your units out, and I can't say that enough times. Units are important. It is quite important. Yes. Okay, so then we ask ourselves, how many to how many? Okay, so in water, there's six H2Os here, mm -hmm. and there's three barium hydroxides here, so six on top, three on bottom. You got it. Okay. All right. And then I think you can finish the last step. Oh, yeah, just, you know. grams H2O per one mole, and I think the molar mass of water is something like 18.02. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. You got a calculator with you? Uh, shoot, I must have left it at home. I, oh, thank you. <laughs> They're always useful. <laughs> zero grams of water. Which may seem small considering it's five moles per one liter, mm. but we only had 20 milliliters, didn't we? So it right. wouldn't produce that much. Just a little tiny amount. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. That puts in perspective. Exactly. All right. Well. There you go. Stoichiometry with molarity. Yeah, it does tie, tie together quite nicely. It does. And it also makes guacamole. Yes, it does. So I'm going to go get some. All right. Bye. Bye.